Hey friends, happy anniversary! A year ago today, I published my first ever YouTube video. It was a reaction to the birdcage. And since then, I've evolved so much as a reactor and as a person. I've published over 100 videos. I've watched a few shows, so many movies. I've connected with so many of you and created personal friendships. I've also created this beautiful community, collected around 25,000 subscribers and some followers on Instagram. But overall, it's been the happiest year ever. I am so thankful for everyone who came along on this journey, for your suggestions, your recommendations, your feedback, your comments, your laughter. Like making you laugh is the happiest part of my life. <laughs> but there's so much more to come. This is not the end of my journey. I have so many more movies to watch and shows to watch and conversations to have with you all. So stick around. And to celebrate, we decided to ask you questions that I'll answer for you. But I just took a two week vacation with my family all the way to Ireland and ar around Europe a little bit for my brother's wedding. So I decided to take all of you with me. You asked, I answered, so let's go. Is that good? I feel like that's good. What the f are you doing in Ireland? Oh, <laughs> my younger brother's wedding. Um, he's marrying an Irish girl. So we made the trek all the way here, and the wedding is tomorrow. When you started the channel a year ago, what did you expect the channel to be a year later? I had very mixed expectations. Like, part of me wanted it to, part of me thought I was just going to be launched into stardom. But another part of me thought, like, be realistic, we will be at around 10,000 subscribers. And to know that we've more than doubled that in a year makes me so happy and proud. And it has exceeded all of my expectations. I may not be launched into stardom, but I'm part of this whole new community that I love. And I'm exploring new movies, new genres of movies. And I'm just happy to be where I am one year in. Christy, what? How tall are you? I'm 5'8 or 172 in centimeters. Hey, what has been your five favorite movies to watch so far? Five? Five. Five, okay. A Shawshank Redemption, number one. I would get that tattooed across my chest. Love Shawshank Redemption. A V for Vendetta, definitely a great movie. And now that I went to England and I saw The House of Parliament, it was like... Coco, amazing. So three. A Avengers Infinity War. Preferred it over Endgame. Come at me. And uh, Hacksaw Ridge. Or, yeah, I'm gonna go with Hacksaw Ridge. I love Hacksaw Ridge. Those are my five favorite movies that I watch. Salud! Did you really not know about the I'm Your Father plot twist at Empire? But they're like the same age. No, they're not. <laughs> Han Solo is way older, right? No? Okay, but so you didn't know. You didn't I know didn't know. I, I knew there was a thing, but I didn't know specifically that. See, it's not has got it going on. Any collaborations with any other movie reactors on YouTube? Always love when that happens. You know, we've planned a couple. I planned a collab with Dawn Marie, but we have, first of all, she lives on the other side of the world, so scheduling it was kind of difficult, and she has a family, and so it was hard to make it happen. But I've been chatting with my friend KL, and we're gonna try to make it happen. Collaborating from afar is difficult, so we're gonna do everything we can to make it happen, but otherwise, 
I really look forward to meeting some other reactors in person so we can do some in-person collaborations. Nothing on the books yet, but it's one of my goals as a reactor. Christy. Yes. If you could insert yourself into any movie, what would you pick and what character would you want to be? It's the best dog. Please pan into the dog. Best dog I've seen in my life. Look at him. Okay. If I could insert myself into any movie, which one and why? Okay, and what character? I loved Midnight in Paris with Owen Wilson and Rachel McAdams. Loved, loved, because I loved the setting. I loved the concept of like time loops. I love that concept. And it's romantic and it's about writers and I love art. And in terms of what character would I play? Probably, what's her name? What's her name? The French lady. I don't remember her name. Marion Cotillier. Mm. Yeah, that's the answer to my question. What is your favorite Sopranos character? I think. Oh my god, this is a hard one. I'm gonna say Christopher, because I feel like we've seen him grow a lot. We've seen him fuck up a lot, but now he's doing good. And I love him as a person, so I'm gonna go with Christopher. So not Junior. I hate Junior for who, for what he did to Tony in season one, uh, but... He's funny now, he's funny as fuck. Well. Yeah, he's one of my favorite, but I'm gonna go with Christopher because I love Christopher. Okay. All right. What has been the What has been the biggest difference in your life since starting the channel? Ooh, the biggest difference. I think my free time. Like I don't I didn't realize I had free time before until I now spend it watching movies and being part of this community and attending the channel and doing live streams. So I think my limited availability has changed the most. Also, now I can talk movies with people. I used to not have the opportunity to weigh in and talk. You don't know how many times I've talked about Jaws since I watched it. And like the score and like the bruise bruise and how it broke and I don't know like now I'm part of bigger conversations than I used to be you're in Ireland you should be at a bar drinking Guinness <laughs> what's your go-to pizza I mean I love Brooklyn style pizza thin big um, and kind of crispy at the bottom and just classic cheese that's my favorite pizza ever but if I go to a restaurant and they don't have Brooklyn style street pizza I typically order like prosciutto with arugula and something like Italian something that tastes Italian Okay. How you doing? What are some of your favorite Colombian dishes? Like another one as well, or are you okay? I really like. It's a from the coast. It's called chuzo de granado. You've seen me eat it because I post a lot about it. Um, that's my favorite Colombian dish ever. Oh, and your what's your favorite Colombian dish? Yeah. What is oh. Your? Jorge, what's my favorite Colombian dish? What was that? Cut, cut, he's out, he's out. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Don't record, record. Okay, ceviche. Ceviche! Anything! Happy now? What advice would present day Christy have for the Christy who was just starting the channel? And what advice does present day Christy have for Christy one year from now? Okay, definitely. Don't be afraid to express that emotion that you get during the movies because at the beginning I feel like I was holding back a lot. So let let the let it open. That would be the advice that I would give myself one year last year. 
And for next year, I don't know. Like, what can I give? What advice do you give your future self? I don't think that's. I'm that doesn't work with the rules of time travel. Rules of time travel, exactly. <laughs> so we'll leave it there. Okay, so this is kind of a do-over because I misread the end. <laughs> it's it's my fault. I misread the very end of uh, Ron's question. Mm-hmm. Um, the question was actually, what advice would you like to get from Christy a year and a half from now, or a year from now, or something, future Christy? Hmm. Okay, so. I want to know or I want to understand how future Christy manages her time um, and maybe teach me a trick or two. I manage my time much better now than I did a year ago, but I know that there's so much room for improvement. So I'm hoping future Christy has it figured it out and can slip a note and let me know. Hey, what's your favorite band? That's a hard one. That's a big one. Man. I I wanna say Death Cab. <laughs> yeah, say it. Death Cab. But I listen to so much so many different types of music that I don't think I could pinpoint one specific band. But Death Cab is great. Death Cab for what? Christy, what's your favorite TV show? TV show? Yes. I mean, so there's categories, right? So right now I'm watching a lot of reality TV and I love that. But in the realm of shows, The Sopranos, amazing best TV show. Now, in the realm of like comfort shows, Friends and Seinfeld forever. That's in my background all of the time. What do you think of the Copa America finals? Ooh. <laughs> That's a tough one. I think Colombia deserved the win. Actually, Colombia deserved the win in the first half of the game, and Argentina kind of earned the second half of the game. So Colombia didn't deserve the win. Didn't deserve the win. But they should have because they played a better whole championship. It's just the last game we didn't come through. I don't think it matters. Cut it. Yeah, that's it. Christy, are you married? No, I'm single and ready to mingle. So hit me up, call me, text me. If you had to do a reaction all over again that you already did, which would you pick? Uh, oh, that's yeah, a good one. That's a good question. No, Cindy from Mariah was a little uh, difficult. Uh, I'm gonna say the bird cage because it was because my, it was your first time. One of my first reactions. I think my first reaction ever, but I could have done so much better. I didn't know how to react. I was very quiet, so I would do that all over again. Hey Christy, what's your favorite superhero and why? Ooh, I feel like I feel like it's evolved. Like I have a different superhero every time, and it started with the Falcon. I love the Falcon, but now I really like Bucky. I think when I first met Bucky in Captain America, I I have no faith in him. I thought he was too far gone. I wanted him to like be gone all the way forever, but now in this, in Captain America and in, in, in the Winter Soldier, I fell in love with Bucky. I think he's misunderstood, and I think he's my favorite. Very cool. Christy. Yes. How did you become such a ray of sunshine? Thank you for seeing me as a ray of sunshine. That's actually a really sweet question. And I feel like I've always been kind of a positive person and I find joy in spreading positivity. So I'm honored that you would think of me as a ray of sunshine and I hope I bring a little joy to your life. Do you think you'd be as successful if you were a man on YouTube? Well, 
There's definitely a lot of benefits from being a woman reactor, a woman on, the, on YouTube, on the internet. Uh, but I know a lot of really great male reactors who are really relatable and funny and are really talented. So there's no really there's no real way for me to know whether being a woman has benefited me in the reaction world. <laughs>Okay, there were also a few questions that I didn't get to answer because I was supposed to answer them on my flight back, but I looked like this. So I decided to answer them now. If you had a Hollywood budget, what genre of movie would you make and what three actors, actresses would you want to be in it? That's a big one because Hollywood budget is big. I would just take the budget and go live a good life. <laughs> No, but I really like the, and I know, I feel like I've shared this a lot with y'all, but I really like the um, kind of like spy or prison break or like stealing stuff or money heist kind of movie. So that's what I would do, but a little bit in like a little bit comedic. So kind of like Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> or Knives Out. Actually, Knives Out, I feel like that kind of genre. And for actors or actresses, I'm gonna say Jennifer Lawrence, because I really like her, and, and Florence Pugh, because I feel like they look alike, so they could play like sisters in this, in this heist. <laughs> and Bradley Cooper. I don't know why I just said that, it just came to my head. So those three. And then same question as before, but what type of TV series and what three stars would be in it? Can I be in both your movie and TV series? Yes, you can. And for TV shows, I like more like short limited series. Like, you know, I'm watching The Last of Us on my Patreon. So something like that, that has like, a, like it's 10 episodes max. Um, and probably a story of something that happened in real life and that they just made into a show. I just like those kind of limited shows. And yes, you can be in both of them. If you made a movie about your life, would it be a drama, romantic, comedy, musical, or horror film? And what actor, actress would play you? Okay, I think it would be a comedy. <laughs> and I would want Katherine Hahn to play me. Another question, or another questions, but Andrea, I really like her. She goes, what has been your favorite movie you've watched for the channel? This is a hard one because I've watched really, really, really great movies. And as I'm speaking, I start thinking, oh, I watched that one. Um, but I loved V for Vendetta. Um, and I know that reaction was like a joint reaction with a friend, so it didn't get the full seriousness that it deserved but i was just in london and seeing the house of parliament and all of that was beautiful and reminded me of the movie and i love the movie uh, but i can't answer that there's so many great movies that i've watched is there any upcoming tv shows or movies you're excited to watch next i'm actually really excited to watch uh, the godfather 2 i've heard amazing things and it's on the list it's been on the least in the least it's been in the list for a while as well as heat um but this vacation and my dad's surgery and i got sick before so some stuff has gone on the way so i haven't had a chance to and to watch those but i'm really excited for those too do you have any reviews you are anxious to post um there's one that I watched, Doubt, is, it was one of the first reactions I ever made. And I feel like the the subject is so heavy that I was a little anxious to be on the wrong side of the coin. Like I didn't want to give too strong of an opinion because I didn't want to, I don't know, It was it's a little sensitive subject. If you haven't seen my reaction to it, it's one of my least watched videos. So go give me a watch, uh, it would be appreciated. Will you please watch Firefly? I've heard it's really good. It's on the list. It's just, I have so much on the list and I, it's really hard to watch more than three hours of, of video and record myself a day 
because it's that's pretty much my limit so if i watch like a three hour movie or a two and a half hour movie and i do an intro and an outro that's like as much as i can do in that day and considering that i'm watching two shows that are one hour episodes each and i'm watching movies for both the channel and patreon adding these movies and these shows to the list is like it's there but i'll just do my best to get to it quicker um and andrea happy birthday august 8th of this year was so special i was in spain and i was having the most beautiful day because it was your birthday and also because because it was eight eight of eight so 2024 adds eight and i don't know if you believe in numerology a lot of people don't i also kind of i don't know but eight is the number of abundance so it was a beautiful day and abundantly gorgeous for me what movies that you reacted to for your channel was the most enjoyable? What was the least enjoyable that was difficult to sit through? And what was the strangest, weirdest one? Hmm. Okay, so the most enjoyable, man, uh, I'm gonna have to say Knives Out because it was just so good. Also, Anchorman was hilarious. And Coco. <laughs> and the least enjoyable or difficult to sit through i'm gonna say a gladiator and i loved the movie and i think it's really really good movie but the whole movie is full of pain and human and animal slavery and a lot of suffering so it was a little difficult to watch for me and also a what was that movie that i watched the war movie it was not hacksaw ridge Saving Private Ryan. Saving Private Ryan was so, so difficult to watch. There was just so much war and suffering and I don't know, it was, it was hard. Um, I'll watch it again though, um, but I don't think I'll watch Gladi Gladiator again. And what was the strangest, weirdest one? Hmm. Strangest or weirdest movie that I watch? Oh, yeah. Okay, so this one is not on my YouTube channel, but it's on my Patreon. And I watched the Star Wars holiday special and that was weird. That was so strange. I don't know what I watched. I have no idea what I watched. So that's gonna be the weirdest movie film, like whatever video that I watched in my entire career as a reactor. I hope you enjoyed this Q&A and I hope you enjoyed our travels together. Um, and if you want to take me on vacation, you can do so as well. <laughs> Just kidding. But seriously, thank you for being such an important part of this journey. I can't wait to continue and I look forward to so many more years together. Bye.